crucial characteristic of the authentic African-American spiritual is what we call the double or coded meaning. I alluded to it earlier when I mentioned how we had to be in touch with each other and communicate right in the presence of the elders. We sang Steal Away at prayer meetings, but Steal Away was the signal song, you know, for Nat Turner's rebellion down in Southampton County, Virginia. And we used it to alert other slaves when a section of Harriet Tubman's uh, Underground Railroad was coming through. If you wanted to risk life and limb, then they would sing out in the fields that day, steal away, steal away to Jesus. They sang Wade in the Water at the baptismal services down at the creek or in the river. That's what they did. But it was also a signal song for runaway slaves to let them know when the slave patrols were out to get into some water in order to throw the bloodhounds off your trail. About the turn of the 19th century, that is 1801, into the slave warrens came traveling missionaries armed with a new music form introduced to North America from Europe. It was the quatrain form housed mostly in a hymn book by Dr. Isaac Watts. Whenever we get a quatrain hymn, we talk about an Isaac Watts style hymn. Now, this appealed to us because of the bright imagery of the language and the fact that the second and fourth line always rhyme. Yes, See? The deacon would say something like, I was a wandering sheep. I did not love the foal. I would not hear my shepherd's voice. I would not be controlled. And then the slave congregation would sing, I was a wandering sheep. I did not love the My shepherd's voice, I would not be controlled. I would not hear my shepherd's voice. I would not. Mixed with that was the ingenuity of our ancestors. There was the prohibition against the drum. So we had to develop ingeniously the use of the hand clap and the foot pat. One of the things that helps you understand the music of black people is to understand it was born in an era when we had no instruments. There was, as I mentioned, the prohibition against the drum, and so we had to make our own accompaniment with the hand clap and the foot pat. So much of the music of black religious experience is often done without instrument accompaniment. And the accompaniment was provided by the contrapuntal arrangement of the voices. Now, black folks are something else. <laughs> See, not only did we sing European meter music in our meter style with the surge form, but we also took music and hymns that had its own musical notation, and we sang that in meter because we didn't have any Hammond organ or any uh, Kanabi piano or whatever kind of piano that is, see? Uh, Gene, you and Dexter, Play a, a little bit of a hymn tune, one of them, of Guide Me, O Thou Great Jehovah. And then there's another one. Now, that wouldn't, that wouldn't do any good down in, on the plantation because we didn't have these instruments. See, so... Uh, Somebody would stand up in the congregation and just haul off and say, Guide me, O thou great Jehovah, pilgrim through this valley. I am weak, but thou. My 
mighty, hold me with thy powerful hand. Then you go to moaning. Mm -hmm. 